Back now at 819 with the rising star of the Republican Party, New Jersey's tough-talking Governor Chris Christie. Today, National Correspondent Jamie Gangale caught up with him exclusively. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Ann. A year ago, most people didn't know who Chris Christie was, but these days he is being touted as the man who can get things done because of his approach in New Jersey and moments like these. You're all laughing, right? Blunt. This is the crap I have to hear. <laughs> Outspoken. You punch them, I punch you. Chris Christie is not your typical you politician. Because you think that's a confrontational tone, then, I, you know, you should really see me when I'm pissed. Um, Just ask his family. Your mom says sometimes she cringes because he uses salty language. That's salty language. Uh, <laughs> Bad words. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you dropped them. No, I'm not really. <laughs> I think he's honest. And as I said, I think it's clarity of thought. His ability to articulate things is just tremendous. You're very outspoken at home. There's not a lot of difference between the way I'm outside and the way I'm here, although. You know, my kids will remind me, my 10-year-old in particular reminds me all the time, you are not the governor of the house. <laughs> hey, New Jersey, we did it. With Christy, what you see is what you get. A 48-year-old father of four who loves Bruce Springsteen. Hates Snooky. We'll take Snooky in the situation, you can have him back. <laughs> and is trying to rescue his troubled state by slashing spending, battling unions, and loudly insisting that the status quo is unsustainable. I don't have the money. I mean, it's just not hard. I don't have the money. And despite the tough choices, his approval ratings keep going up. Yeah. You're not surprised. No. Because? Because I think people want to be treated like adults. I think they're tired of being pandered to. I think they're tired of being told, hey, listen, Vote for me, and I can make it all better, and it won't cost you anything, and it won't hurt you at all. They know that's baloney. They know it. That no-nonsense approach and YouTube moments like this one. It's people who raise their voices and yell and scream like you that are dividing this country. We're here to bring this country together, not to divide it. Have struck a chord with voters, even across party lines. I voted for Obama. But I support Chris Christie for governor of New Jersey. A former prosecutor who never lost a case, Christie was born in Newark to a working class family. Your mother was Sicilian. Yes. Your father, Irish. Right. Your mother was a Democrat. Yes. Your father, a Republican. Yes. How would you describe your politics? Well, honestly, I'm a Republican um, for sure, and I and 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 I'd say you know I'm on the conservative side of things, but um, I think that I'm also really practical, I and mean, I want to get things done. I, mean, I don't know. They're and it's not Trump just here. talk. One of his closest political I mean, allies is a Democrat, Newark right. Mayor Cory Booker. You two are being called the political odd couple. <laughs> Am I Felix or, or Oscar? That's all I want to <laughs> The two recently appeared on Oprah to announce a gift from Facebook's founder. $100 million! For schools like this one, Booker says honesty is at the core of their relationship. Like it or not, I always know where I stand. He says, he doesn't say yes or no. He says, hell yes or hell no. <laughs> uh, and, and you really know where you can go. And so I have a partner that's sitting at a table in a way I haven't had ever before that's saying that we are going to get this done, Mayor, whatever it takes. At the same time, Christie has become the hottest ticket for Republicans. The new star of a GOP ad campaign. We can change America overnight. A conservative folk hero. Ladies and gentlemen, is it wrong to love another man? Because I love Chris Christie. And last but not least, watch out Sarah Palin. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie won the first ever Richmond, Virginia Tea Party presidential straw poll on Saturday. All of which has led to speculation about the governor's political future. Do you think he'd make a good president? Oh, absolutely. But Christie says he's not ready. Everyone in the Republican Party but you is talking about that you should be on the ticket in 2012 to run for the White House. You say? No way. Would you consider running for vice president? Jamie, can you see me as somebody's vice president? 
<laughs> I mean, who would be that poor guy? I, you know, I just, I just don't think that my personality is necessarily suited to being number two. That said, when pressed, the governor admits he's discussed it with his family. But try to find out what they really think. Even seven-year-old Bridget is a political pro. Yeah, come here, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Would you like your daddy to be president of the United States? I don't have an answer for that. Oh! <laughs> Someone prepare On me message. So we may not know what Bridget thinks in, but we do now know what salty language is. And I'm here to tell you the speculation about Christie is not going to go away anytime soon. And 